Good morning, guys. I am Patty Elhoff. I am the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, and I'm going to show you today how to upcycle one of those plastic pumpkins. And along with the plastic pumpkin, you're going to need a piece of craft paper or scrapbook cardstock paper, plaster wrap. This is the plaster wrap. I got it in the craft store. A phone book that is no longer in use. We're going to be tearing that up. Scissors, a bowl of water, a free pumpkin template, foam adhesive circles. Those are these little dots. Dimensional paint, and I am using the one in black. If you can't find those dimensional paints, you can still use the fabric paints, which work just as well. Tracing paper, unless you feel comfortable enough. What I did was I took my template and I just used a ballpoint pen. This is very tiny. This is just an example. I did an outline with a ballpoint pen, very heavy pressure on the pen. That left an indentation in my scrapbook paper and then I just cut that out if you want to skip the tracing paper. Fall colored glitters, decoupage glue, sponge brushes, clear gloss spray, a top coat. The first thing you're going to want to do, which you can see I've already done, is take the product paper clay and Fill in the jack-o'-lantern's face because we want a flat surface. So fill in the face and this you want to do first because it takes the longest amount of time to dry. Now it's completely dry now. It feels like plaster. You can sand it flat. Uh, what I did was while it was still wet, I put a piece of wax paper over it and I just rolled a rolling pin over to flatten it out and then I took the excess off so it's just nice and flat there. While that is drying you're going to need to take some strips of this plaster wrap. Make sure you cut it to the size of the pumpkin. In other words just lay it over the pumpkin and I can see roughly I'm going to need strips that are about this long. And I'm going to cut as many as I need to go around the pumpkin. And by the way, we're going to cut this again in half because we want those strips to be a little thinner. This cuts very easily. And you want to check out, depending on the size of your pumpkin, you're going to know how many you need. Just go on around the pumpkin, count one, two, three, and cut several pieces of that that you're going to need. Cut a little extra. And then the next thing you're going to do is go into the phone book and tear out some pages. The phone book is only so long, so it's okay that the pages don't wrap completely around the pumpkin. But you also want those to be thinner strips like this and tear out a bunch of those that are going to go around the pumpkin just one time. And by the way, this is a very nice paper to decoupage with. It's thin. It's a little bit busy. The print won't smear or run and it absorbs water very quickly so it's going to be perfect for our project today. And again, you don't need to keep going around and around like with paper mache. We'll only need one coat of this. Once you've got everything cut out, you've got your bowl of water here. You would take your strip, first strip, you're going to take strips of your, I'm cutting these again in half because I want them to be a little bit thinner than they are. And I've never worked with this product before now and I love it. I hope I start, I can find a bunch of other projects to do with this. It's pretty interesting. You dip this in the water
wring it out a little bit and this is the plaster wrap and you lay it down over your surface. I'm just going to overlap a tiny bit up top so that we have coverage. Now I've done half of the pumpkin. I always try to do half of the project first to see if I'm going to run into any problems or things that I should know before I make the video. And with little spaces like that you can just take extra pieces and cut them and cover that up. This stuff sticks right away. It dries very quickly. You can also sand it. It gives texture. And these pumpkins that would normally just be thrown away will have a new purpose or at least you can use them for new decorations now. So go around, go around the rest of this and just keep applying these strips of the plaster wrap. I'll come back when that's done. Now while the plaster is drying, and that doesn't take a long time to dry, I cut out the templates that I was using. Now this is what I'm doing today. I'm going with a very simple print. Outline your pattern with the black or a dark color, maybe even a rust to match the pumpkin or make it more Halloween looking. And you definitely want to be on wax paper for this. That's going to take a little bit of time to dry. The plaster is taking a little bit of time to dry.
There is the finished pumpkin and I covered almost all of the paper with the glitter so you're probably wondering why I even put that background on there and I'll turn it around and show you the other side. That is our completed project for today. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help you out. And I will see you guys next week. Thanks a lot.